What's up, superstars? Welcome back to Crypto Cornucopia, where you come for the latest crypto news, education, and a path to prosperity. I'm making these videos for beginners, but even seasoned traders need a different point of view. So keep watching. All right, no time. I got you. Take the speed to 1.5 or 1.75 in your settings. And if you don't know what that is, look at my earlier videos on how I watch YouTube. Like, subscribe, and share. Let's get up to 100 subscribers. Also, use the links below and ask questions so I know what you want to learn. Uh, as a matter of fact, in this video, we're going to go over NFTs, which is a question that somebody asked. So I made sure to put it in this video. All right, so let's take a look at the daily sentiment on Trade the Chain. Look at that 69. I believe it was 49 yesterday. So it jumped 20 points. Extremely bullish for Bitcoin. 70, even higher for Ethereum. Extremely bullish. But take a look at what is pumping today. We've got Mana. That is a metaverse. We've got an ERG. I think that's a gaming basic attention token. That is a web browser like this. So if you were uh, like Google. So if you were using uh, base or if you were using Brave browser, then you can actually get those tokens just by surfing the web on it. Uh, Gala is a game. Axie Infinity is a game. All right, so let's take a look at the charts real quick while we explain what's happening. Green, 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 green. All right, so glad I bought more Luna at 40. Right here, remember a couple days ago where I said it, it's touching the bar or the, uh, the 20 SMA simple moving average, then uh, I'm willing to jump back in or buy more. And all of them did. Loving it. All right, so let's jump right into the... <clears throat> the narrative shift. All right. So the term of the day is metaverse. What is a metaverse? Have you ever watched the movie Ready Player One? Ever since I started thinking about crypto and diving into it, that's what I saw for this. Uh, if you haven't seen it, it's a movie about um, a future date where uh, essentially everybody is disheartened and they want to get out of their everyday lives and go into a virtual reality world. And I, I could see this happening with crypto. I see the technology already moving that way. I mean, how are you, with the games that we play right now, if you just uh, use Xbox or PlayStation, how are you going to own anything? There's no way for that to happen. Well, cryptos, you can. And NFTs are the key to that. All right, so why did the narrative shift today? The narrative shift because the metaverse is happening. Facebook went ahead and changed their name. Literally took the steps to change Facebook into Meta. Now you can say what you want about Facebook and uh, the privacy issues and what are the cases. It doesn't really matter because they said we're going all in on crypto and the metaverse. Now metaverse again is it, an entire world that's created um, like if you ever played any type of game, a metaverse is where you can go and interact, whether through your keyboard or virtual reality. There are several, several of them out there right now. And I actually put some money into, actually, let's go back here real quick to trade the chain, uh, Sandbox. All right, so you can see the tweets are up. Um, I believe it's around 700 million market cap. Mana was at 1.5, so I thought it would do better. I was wrong. Man, it did way better at 45% since yesterday. As soon as I heard this news, I went in and I got it because that's the narrative now, okay? And in the metaverse, what are you going to do? You're going to play games. You're going to interact. You're going to be social, okay? So all these things are, are going to be their narrative now. This is where people now get that the money's got to be moving towards those things. So they're trying to jump the gun and get... Uh, you know, get their hands on, um, you know, some of these projects. All right. So, um, so Facebook's metaverse will support NFTs. Uh, Facebook said Thursday, the company's metaverse will support non-fungible tokens in a possible boost to the Ethereum protocol where the digital collectibles format has thrived. Now, personally, I think that's not a great idea because uh, Ethereum is so overloaded that the fees are ridiculous right now. Now, if they talk about being on a layer two, like Polygon, Arbitrum, 
uh, and there are a couple other ones. Um, um, specifically, it'd be Epic if it was Metis, which is just coming out now. It's Layer Two Solution, but if they went straight to Ethereum, then you can't really interact because every transaction would be hundreds of dollars. All right, this will make it easier for people to sell limited edition digital objects like NFTs, display them in their digital spaces, and even resell them to the next person securely. That's uh, what the Facebook head of Metaverse Project said. All right, so what is an NFT? Let's go over that right now. Uh, so on Wikipedia, a non-fungible token is a unique and non-interchangeable, like fiat is interchangeable. This is a non-interchangeable unit of data stored on a digital ledger, which is blockchain. NFTs can be used to represent easily reproducible items such as photos, videos, audio, and other types of digital files. Now, what I'm gonna add in there is skins, weapons, uh, digital gold, anything that you would have uh, personally in a game is a non-fungible token. And why is there value to that? Because there may be uh, limited amounts of that particular item, or maybe it's so rare that, that it's only one. Essentially, it's a programmable object that you can own. It's called a digital asset. You actually own it. And there's value to that. Okay, so hopefully you understand that. Uh, for example, right here on OpenSea, uh, that's all they do is sell NFTs. And that's been blowing up. I've seen some crazy stuff uh, where things are selling for millions of dollars. And, you know, you may not get it. I don't get it, but I don't get art. I don't get paintings. I look at a painting and say, how does that sell for hundreds of thousands of dollars? Don't get it. Okay, but you don't have to get it. Other people do. And that that uh, presents a value to it. All right, so let's head back and moving on. What are NFTs? Um, Timbaland dropping Ethereum music NFTs that you can remix. Okay, so like I said before, they're programmable. All right, they are unique. And the great greatest thing about it for uh, musical artists is you can program into this specific NFT, NFT that every time it's sold, he gets some of that, okay? And I'm sure everybody's heard about music artists not getting all the middlemen that are in there. They have to pay them all, okay? But if you take a music or a song or um, what he's doing is a uh, programmable NFT that you can remix and make it your own, anytime Anytime it changes hands, it's programmed to give him a percentage of that. That's the beauty of it. Uh, so for example, if you're playing a game and you have a sword, um, you know, it's programmed in there that, or it could be programmed in there that uh, the sword, the original maker of the sword actually gets a percentage of it. So if it's Gala Games that made the sword and uh, you're selling it, well, they get a percentage of that. It's brilliant. All right, so this is sign of the times. Coinbase returns to number one in the Apple US App Store. So what does this tell you? This tells me that people are getting back into crypto. And it says returns. I don't know when the last time it was at number one, but I'm assuming it was either earlier this year or back in 2017 when the last having took place and everybody was downloading it. Now it's sad to me that people are going straight to Coinbase because yeah, it's a free app, but they charge ridiculous fees compared to what's out there. So if you wanna get started, I suggest going into crypto.com or the Voyager app. And uh, Voyager actually just um, got a huge boost. Um, they were offered, I think it was $4 million in um, an upgrade fund but uh, the VGX token uh, just took a, a big pump. All right, but the point is that everybody's, a lot of people are thinking about crypto and you can see it in the news all day long. And that's uh, another narrative that's coming out with the metaverse. All right, so the wall of money that's coming. So let's take a look at the, the global financial wealth. This is global all the way, okay? 
So we're talking about trillions here. And uh, corporate treasuries have 3.8 trillion. Sovereign wealth funds have 8.6 trillion. And think about that. That is uh, El Salvador. Okay, these are countries that have money from um, producing goods and services and they have to put their money into something. So sovereign wealth funds, countries that need to have money, uh, they have 8.6 trillion to offer. And if you know, the stock market is not doing well, bonds aren't doing well, commodities actually are because they're going up in value. Uh, because of inflation. Uh, but besides that, you know, they're going to be looking to uh, for a place to put their money. And we just saw what the narratives are. We have the metaverse, we have uh, crypto in general. So um, they're going to see Bitcoin and other cryptos going up. Foreign exchange reserves, 12.5 trillion. Insurance companies, 34 trillion. That's nuts, actually. Uh, pension funds, 49.8 trillion. Okay. Pension funds are there to make money for the people that have been giving them money for years. So you have to think about what's going to be happening there. All right. Uh, so this is a, <clears throat> a great uh, stat here. The number of Ethereum wallets. Okay. So I have a MetaMask wallet and uh, that counts as one wallet. There are 129 million. Okay. Think about that. How many people are there in the world? Uh, I believe the, well, the population of the United States is over 350 million. All right, but just keep that in context. The number of Solana wallets is only 5.5 million. Okay, so we've seen a huge run up for Solana because it's backed by Sam Bankman Fried, and, uh, who has FTX and is getting all, into all kinds of sports. Uh, so it only has 5.5 million wallets. So do the math there 129 divided by 5.5 million. Now, it's not great to compare it to Ethereum because it's so young, but it just it just puts things into perspective. It's very young. So if price ratio is to match wallet ratio and log ETH at 4,000 should imply Sol at 985. Okay, Sol is currently at 190. And I've seen several predictions and I see it at possible Sol Solana could be up to 1,000 uh, by the end of this bull run. I could totally see that happening. Not financial advice. A lot of people saying Dogo coin pumping is bad for the market, not realizing that in 2018 and earlier, Doge pumps were actually alt season alarms. Meme and normie cones gaining interest usually aren't tops, but rather early signs of mania, in my opinion. Enjoy the next few months. So um, I've actually heard both sides of this and in my perspective, I think it actually shows the beginning of an altcoin cycle, which is everything but Bitcoin, by the way, which is led the way by Ethereum, which I explained in yesterday's video. But it also can show the end. All right. So it's the end, the, the beginning and the end of the altcoin. So I personally feel like right now is the beginning. Uh, I've been seeing signs all over the place. So just like they say right here, enjoy the next few months. And if you're not in, get in. Now's the time. All right. Talk to you guys tomorrow.